When a patient comes to see me with psoriasis, I'm always mindful that there are two experts in that consultation, two experts in that room. There is me as a healthcare professional who has some expertise in medical matters, but there is also the patient, and the patient is absolutely the only expert on themselves. So whenever I see a patient with psoriasis, I want to generate a dialogue between myself and the patient about their skin and about what's going on inside. And I want to agree a plan that best suits that patient and that patient's lifestyle. When I'm generating a plan with my patient, I'd usually talk about the, the various options in terms of treatments. And we know that as with lots of chronic inflammatory skin disease, that there is a step up, step down approach to managing skin disease. The first step is to try and make sure that there is good barrier function of the skin, which means making sure that the emollients are used, the moisturizing creams are used, and that creams instead of soap are, are replacing soap, in other words, soap substitutes. And then we want to talk about ointments that work as anti-inflammatories, creams that go on to the affected areas. And for some patients who have mild psoriasis, that might be enough. For some patients, it's not enough though, and then we need to step up to the next level of treatment, which is usually phototherapy, ultraviolet light treatment, together with the anti-inflammatory creams sometimes. If that doesn't work, then we'll step up to tablets. And again, if that doesn't work, we step up to injection treatments. Injection treatments have been around for about 20 years now, and uh, we're very familiar with the sort of problems that can happen with injection treatments. And they seem to be really quite minor, really quite small, we know these days. But still, we want to take blood tests before patients go on to injection treatments. And then we want to monitor patients to make sure that they respond to their treatment. With injection treatments, it usually means that the patient has an injection, usually into the subcutaneous tissue. And there are various amounts of times that a patient will have those injections. Sometimes it's every week and sometimes it's every three months. It depends on the, the treatment that we choose. But remember that it's the patient and the healthcare professional that, that decides what is the best treatment for that patient at that, right, at that particular time. I'm always keen when I'm choosing a treatment for my patient to get the right drug to the right patient at the right time every time. So I want to try and get it right first time round. By that I mean that the patient understands the different treatments which are available and they choose together with the advice of the healthcare professional which is the one that suits them best, which is the one that best meets their holistic needs. So that might mean the needs from their skin, gets their skin as good as they can, but also is as safe as they can, but also might mean it gets their joints better because some treatments work better for joints rather than others. And it might mean that, that there are treatments around that seem to work more swiftly or more comprehensively in terms of any psychosocial problems, any anxiety or depression or worries that the patients may have in relation to living with their psoriasis. So it's really important that the patient and the healthcare professional chooses the right drug for the right patient at the right time, every time.